What is going on? Welcome to Greggles TV. These are the Meta AI Smart Glasses. They are the Ray-Ban Wayfair. They're the large edition. I'll link these ones down below if you want to pick them up. And I love them. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a big list of tips and tricks with these glasses. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. We're going to start off in the app because there's a lot of stuff in the app and then we'll move out to just about the glasses. So first within the app, uh, you have to, which you probably have already downloaded and installed the Meta AI app. At the very bottom right, you'll see the glasses. That will bring you right into dealing and controlling with the glasses. So I can see right there my battery life. I can also change the name. You see where it says Wayfair OOC2. I can tap that pencil and I'm going to call them. Uh, there you go. I changed the name to Greg's Ray-Bans. I'm going to hit save on that. So now I have that saved. So you see the battery percentage and you see my new name for these. I can pause them if I don't want to do anything like any announcements and all that stuff would be paused. So like you can get notifications, which I'll show you in a moment. I've paused those, but I can also unpause them. I can translate on here. So I can just tap this and I can go through the cycle of hitting continue and then hitting done, choosing which language I want to translate. And around where I live in Southern California, a lot of people speak Spanish. I personally don't. So I would leave it at this, but you can also just tap here and go through uh, translated languages, Spanish, Italian, and French, and choose that, and then choose the language that you speak. Hit continue. It's going to download the language pack real quick so that it can do it on the fly pretty much. So you just let it do its thing. And then when you're ready to go, you would just start, and it's listening as it goes, and you can just hold up your phone so they can read it on the phone as you're speaking through the glasses. Pretty cool. Continuing on, you'll see my gallery. These are all the photos and videos that I've taken with the glasses and I can import these, which they're already imported or I can hit see all. And if I want to remove any of these, uh, you know, I can choose like, for instance, maybe I want to remove uh, this one. I'll just press and hold on it. And at the bottom, I can delete it or I can send it. You can see those at the bottom. See the trash can at the bottom left and then the send icon at the bottom right. Going back to the main page of the Meta AI app for the glasses. You have reminders. You can see it says, ask Meta to create a reminder or note, and you'll see it here. So if you have, if you're, if you're saying, hey, remind me to blah, 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 it will be right in this app right here. So pretty cool, you can have it do that. Going back to the very top, if you see the plus sign, you can tap that and you can add another pair of glasses to your phone and maybe you got one for sunglasses, another one for indoors. This is where you could add that in here. Also at the main page in the top right, you'll see settings, you tap that gear. This is where a lot of stuff is. So I'm gonna go to updates first and I have my updates automatically installed. So it's as new things um, are installed, you can see this will uh, turn on automatic updates for all, for, for all devices using Meta AI. So I keep that on. I love this because it's gonna automatically take the guesswork out of anything to do with the updates. It's gonna automatically do it as it happens and give me features and fixes and anything else that's good about it. You can also check if your device is up to date. You can see my device is up to date, so I would just hit check if I wanted to manually. You don't need to, but you can see it's all up to date. Going back a step, we'll go into general, and in general, I can go into about, and I can check my model, my version, the name, the lens color that's on here, the serial number, uh, case serial number, all that stuff is right here. I can force a restart. If you're having an issue with them, come into force restart, and you can see that you can make sure the it'll make sure the power is, switch is off, and then you press and hold the capture button, then slide the power switch on, and you can keep holding the capture until the LED turns on. You just hit done, and it will walk you through the uh, force restart. Unpair glasses, maybe you're getting rid of them for whatever reason, um, you can come in here and hit unpair, and then hit unpair again, and it will unpair the glasses from your phone. And then you have factory reset, just tap that, hit next, go through the steps of that, and that will delete everything about the glasses from your account, and you can sell them or give them away or donate them. Wi-Fi is an important one. If you go into Wi-Fi, this is where you can connect to different networks. Just hit add network, and you're able to connect two different Wi-Fi networks with the glasses uh, and get things situated so you can transfer things or download things and all that. Meta AI, which is one of the big things on here because you have uh, Meta AI built into the glasses. Um, you can turn on, you see of uh, the Hey Meta preferences, you can come in here 
and turn that off. You can see it says, say hey meta or okay meta to start a voice command. You can turn that on or off. Reportedly, if you turn it off, I haven't tested this, I will be, um, you can get better battery life and there's a way to still activate it, which I'll show you in a moment. But yeah, you can, you have that option to turn that off if you don't want it on there. There's a wake sound. So when you do say that keyword, it will make a wake sound like a woo -woo. It makes a sound. So you can turn that sound on or off. I like having it on so I know that it's actually doing its thing. You also have the option to turn this on or off. This is being able to basically do multiple prompts without having to say the keyword, um, which you see in, in parentheses. Um, you can turn that on or off. It's up to you. I keep it on though. Language and voice is a big one. Uh, if you don't speak uh, English and you have other languages that you can choose from, you just select the little radio button to the right of that. And you can even see, see available voice commit controls. So if you tap this, this will show you any and all uh, voice controls that you have for this that you can do all things all things you can do with your voice without having to go through the app or having to press anything here's a uh some my laundry list of features so really really cool and again a little tip or trick going back to language and voice you have the rate you can make it faster or slower drag it to the left for slower faster to the right if you want that you also have different voices you can choose from i use aquafina she's the one of the actresses from multiple things, but the thing I remember for her from is Crazy Rich Asians. And I love her voice and hair, but I've been thinking about going to uh, John Cena, but they have other people as well, famous people, and then some just regular, you know, Aspen, Indigo, and uh, was that Sage voices as well. Cellular updates. Updates are required when you choose a new language or a voice. I am fine with this. So I turn on cellular data on, which means that it will update those things through my cellular data. I'm completely fine with that. I get unlimited data already, so I'm not worried about it. But if you don't want it to do that, it's off by default, so you don't need to come in here. But if you wanted to, you can turn it on right here. Communication on the main page here. Um, this is great because this will allow you to get Notifications from these five apps. You can connect one or all or none. I did all of them because I use all of them and it allows me to get my notifications. Like if someone sends me something through Messenger, it'll read me, it'll say like, hey, David said, how are you doing? And then I can say the keyword, hey, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, what do you want to say? I say what I want and it sends that message afterwards. It's really cool. It does with all five of these apps. It's a great great feature to have on here. One of my favorite things, honestly. Um, announce calls here while someone's trying to contact you. So if someone calls me, it's going to read out that person's name in my contact list over my uh, stereo, open, air, open stereo glasses on here. So it's great. Again, I love that. You can also pause your announcements. Like I mentioned earlier, you can do it with your voice, just saying it, saying the keyword, uh, pause announcements and it will pause it for an hour. Going back again, we're going to go into where it says media and this is where you can do a media quality check. So basically if you take a video or a photo and it notices something blocking the camera, it's actually going to alert you through these and let you know that you, you might have an issue with that photo or video that you took. You also, I also have auto import media automatically on so that uh, it basically what that does is it makes sure my glasses are turned on and in the charging case and connected to Wi-Fi and it'll auto import that media to my phone. I also wanted to mention this one, which is the video settings. If you go in here, you can change the length of the video. I have it maxed to three minutes. So when I shoot a video with the glasses, it'll record up to three minutes or you can set it to as low as 15 seconds. Audio now, if you go into audio, you can see auto pause pauses when you remove your glasses. I love that. So I take my glasses off, pull them away from my face. My audio will pause. Adaptive volume. I've turned this off. Basically what this does, if you have it on, it automatically adjusts your glasses volume uh, based on the background that you're in. So if it's really loud, it'll make it really loud. If it's really quiet, it'll make the volume for yours really quiet. I just like it loud all the time, honestly. So I leave it off. Notification LED brightness. So I have, you can set it to automatic, meaning it'll adjust if it's bright or dark. If it's really bright, the, the, when you're taking a photo or video, the light on your glasses will get light, uh, brighter. Uh, if it's dark, it'll be lower. I just keep it to low. I don't, I don't want to draw too much attention if I'm, if I'm taking a photo or a video, so I keep that at low. Unfortunately, there is no way to completely turn it off, just FYI. Gestures, this is a big one, so let's go in here. And you can see with the touchpad, which I'm gonna to pull these up right here. If I go into the touchpad, I can control and change 
what happens when I touch and hold on the side of the glasses. Right now, I have it so Meta AI pops up. I could have it so Spotify comes up or uh, nothing at all. But for me, Meta AI is probably more important for that for me because what I'm going to probably end up doing is turning off the uh, keyword so that I can get better battery life. And then when I want to access it, I just press and hold on the side of that touchpad to be able to bring up Meta AI. So I think it's a great idea. I love that. But you can switch it to the following right there, Spotify, Spotify, Meta AI, or just have nothing happen when you press it. Three finger touch and hold. Here we go. You can do it so it, nothing happens, or you can have made it AI again, or you can do a quick action, and you can set this up, choose your priority contacts. You can choose up to five people, and you come in here, and you can add and remove priority contacts, and it will basically communicate with those people column for you. Capture button, which is the button up here, you can change that and what it does as well. So we'll come in here and press once to take photos. That's what I have it set up as, or I can press and hold it to take photos. I don't want that. I'd rather tap it once for a photo and then press and hold to take a video. And that's the way it's set up currently. Share additional data. This is probably something you might want to turn off. You don't have to, but basically it should be safe. No problems, no questions asked, but basically it allows you to not share really anything that you're doing on your glasses. Um, cloud media, you can see allow your photos and videos to be sent to Meta's cloud for processing and temporary storage. Again, turn it on or off. It's up to you. If you are more of a private person, Turn it off. Down towards the bottom is really cool. Under accessibility, be my eyes. You can do some cool stuff if you turn this on. Uh, basically what it does is it calls a volunteer for people that have low vision or blindness and it allows them to, to basically help the person that's wear these glasses and see what they see. Sounds really, really cool. The volume and make it louder, swipe to the front, swipe to the back to make it lower. Uh, to play pause your music, just tap on the side and that will play pause your music, you can also triple tap, one, two, three, and that will go to uh, the, the previous track. If you tap it twice while you're listening to music, it will go to the next track. If you are getting a phone call and you want to answer it, you can double tap the side here and that will answer it or triple tap it to deny the call. You can do a bunch of stuff with the Meta AI. Now, if you have the keyword turned on, you can do what I'm gonna do right now. Otherwise, just access it by pressing and holding on the side here or, or however you have it set up to access. So you can literally look at almost anything and it'll tell you what it is and you can basically have a conversation. Hey Meta, what am I looking at? You are looking at a brown leather case for glasses. So it told me I was looking at a brown leather case for glasses. That's great. You can also look at a book cover and say, what are the ratings on this? Or look at a, a movie uh, display and say, what are the ratings on it? You can play games, you can play like Family Feud type games or 20 questions or stuff like that. Um, you can look at a certain dog and it usually tells you what kind of dog it is. Uh, it does all kinds of stuff. So if you're not sure what something is or you wanna know what it is or, you want to learn more information about it. It's built in with this because it has, you know, meta built into the glass, not into the glasses, but it communicates with your phone off of the glasses. So that's really, really cool stuff. So whatever you can pretty much think of, it can pretty much do like, like I said, with getting information about something, um, telling you what something is, endless possibilities really. And I, it's one of the major things I love about these. So Link down below, pick these up. I think you're gonna really love them. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.